here watching the Bad Dice Club. Welcome to Abomination Vaults. I don't know what episode we're on. 42? 42. 42. Something like that. 42. It's a great episode. It's great because we, we are here. And my network is not completely botched for today. So, yes, we made it. 42? If also, this is, in fact, 42, the answer to the life, to life, the universe, and everything would be this episode yes. so make sure you stick around to find out what that is also alcohol <laughs> i don't know what the answer life is where the hell are all these flies coming from i'm a clean Probably. person i promise i don't know why i have flies sorry last week was 42 this is 43 episode 43 Damn. <sighs> last yep. week you found out the answer yes the answer what would be the answer to life then? Going by last week's uh, episode. Uh, you know, shove your friends down that. a hole. That's uh, <laughs> shove your friends down a hole. Yeah, that's your purpose. That's your purpose to life. Yep. Just uh, shove them down a hole. Make Once sure there's water that, down there. Yeah, if you're Once going you from Sherman's that? perspective. Once you fulfill your purpose, you, uh, you throw yourself down the hole. Yeah, from Sherman's perspective, uh, perspective, shove your friends down a hole, flirt with a married woman, and. Uh, <laughs> Um, he is, uh, he's really turning into Bori. <laughs> yeah, except he didn't murder the way. village after flirting with her. So, I didn't, I didn't murder the village either. And also, yeah, he got after rejected. we talked to you about it. <laughs> okay, fine, but I still didn't murder the village. <laughs> Besides, how would I, how was I to know she was married and also a hussy? That is true. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Bar wenches, yeah. I tell you. So my sound thing's a little messed up here. It's it's, it's been a crazy day. I, I I have a day full of IT issues for many many people, and here we are. Still, yeah. There's still a reason we're things. twelve minutes late. <laughs> it's All because right. Justin's IS working. ISP fucking removed his ability to port forward. Well, they just deleted everything. So, which I mean, you know, if that's what happens to move things forward, that's okay. I'll I'll figure it out. So, anyway, do. let's do a recap. Last time you guys uh let's see, what did you do? Uh before that, you were making having a meeting with the mayor. You're trying to find all the relics that belonged to the Rose Guard in order to get down from the fourth level of the Abomination Vault down to the fifth because they've got this super strong barrier that's made up of souls of the foes of Belcora that she has defeated. And only items that belong to people who defeated her would be able to essentially put them to rest open a path for you guys to go. This barrier was not there before, but once the lighthouse fired, the necromantic energy that was released tend they you know can made some sort of barrier there. So that is when it appeared. So you have three of the items. You have you talked to Otari himself, got his thieves tools. You went to the Museum of Otaru. You got Asa Fauna's holy symbol of Erastil. You went to Odd Stories, the bookstore, and got Zarmavdian's spell book. All that remains is the Sword of Vol Rajani, uh, known as the Rosa Argentis. Um, That's missing. That one is missing. That was in the library. And upon making your way towards the library, you saw smoke in the distance, and the library had been set on fire. You guys worked together, had a bit of a skill challenge thing to try and get this fire under control, which you did through that and a combination of, of magics that were used. 
Um, and then after in doing some investigations, you found out that um, a fire had been made in connection with the um, theft of the sword that you are looking for. So someone has taken the sword. You found some soot there uh, that I... Uh, you're not quite sure where that would have come from, but that's that's one clue. Um, so with it being, oh yeah, you you also discovered that in while you were there that the um, three out of the four primers had an affliction of some type. Uh, two of you had fill fever, and Soul has some some sort of other aura going on. You guys kind of. By process elimination, they have come to the conclusion that it is some sort of uh, uh, curse. Lycanthorpy. Of, of lycanthorpy. So, yes. Maybe Sewell will, will be feeling a little wolfy later on in life. We'll see. You guys decided to wait a bit. See if you can get strong enough to remove it yourselves. Rather than take the route that would almost most definitely kill him in the process of trying to cure him so <clears throat> yes. after that you guys decide to investigate at the uh bar that is known by many to be also the home base of the local thieves guild the osprey club and um after gamble spent some time talking with yasmara the head of the guild, uh, he learned that um, they had nothing to do with it. Um, but maybe figured out some directions to go and investigate afterwards. And then you guys threw each other in the, in the drink, and it was very fun. And that was where we ended up today. So uh, I guess just... What did I win party. again? I forget. Yeah, you did. You won. You won... Uh, uh, fr a free meal. free meal. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. A, a free meal card. So yeah, all you can eat for an evening, and you could use that right now if you wanted, because there's a big roast pig there. <laughs> uh, I think I will wait to when I can bring <coughs> a wheelbarrow. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna bring a giant bucket. You guys just gonna party it up for the rest of the night then? Uh, I'm gonna start working. I'd like to start working on reallocating one of my skills, like we talked about. Okay, so you wanna take a week to do that? Uh, like I figured I could just do that during our downtime when we're not doing other stuff. So, um, you know, whenever we make it back to the house, if the if that's something that I could work on doing, or I don't know if that sure. has to be like the main thing that I focus on during that week, or how you want to do that. Uh, yeah, um, mm, let's see here. You're wanting to move skill. You're going to downgrade something for acrobatics, if I remember correctly. Is that right? Yes, I'm going to down, downgrade my crafting for acrobatics because I don't think it's going to be nearly as important for me to do crafting now that I have this new um, subclass. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, well, let me quickly look at the retraining stuff here. Um, I don't know if it has any specific gold that goes along that with it or not. Yeah. Well, you, you talked about me seeing uh, if your sailor friend would be willing to help you out, which he's really, really good at uh, acrobatics. Um, but here's the thing: he works on a ship. Um ships leave for a while oh so, so maybe it'd have to be gone for a week yeah that's the thing so okay <laughs> well how about, this? how about the next time shane's not around he just uh that's what he's doing that could work that could work yeah if you want to do it then or you could just you know take that week too um the problem yeah, with him taking a week. a week i don't know if you guys wanted anything that you wanted to accomplish on your own well, I do have this disease. Yeah, but... That's a curse. Listen. 
It's a little yeah. different. Yeah. Do we know how we're going to fix it? I forgot. I'm uh, going to try and wait for Oku to level up. We were going to... Yeah, we are going to go kill a bunch of boars. That's right. <laughs> uh, Is it the next level that we got to get to? Yep. Yeah. Level seven, then Oku can cast. Remove curse. Remove curse. So there what's are no the best casters way in town who can do that? To do that. The best way for us to do that is to continue adventuring. Well, do we have all the stuff that we need? Do we have what all we of, need? like the do we have all no. the pieces of gear? We have no. to investigate the sword and find the sword. Oh, that's right. Yes. So do you want to do that or do you want to sit around for a week? I mean, we should probably do that so you don't turn into a dog. I don't have to give you the old yeller treatment. Yeah, yeah exactly. Have to, uh, not fucking lop your head off. I'm feeling this yeah, old yeller is a little different, though. I think I might be the one lopping your heads off. Probably. <laughs> Listen, I, mean, I found out that they got silver goo that you can put onto your ammunition. I think 10 rounds of ammunition would do it. I don't know. Soul hits hard. I think werewolf soul would hit much harder. So See, we're almost don't tend to use swords, though. Oh, so yeah, yeah, 17 werewolf. damage. I guess that ain't bad. The thing is, is that if I crit, you're dead. <laughs> if I crit, you're dead. That's the only issue. I do like 50 damage when I crit, so... Is that an issue or a feature? Well, it's it's an issue if I'm not your friend anymore. <laughs> um, all right. Otherwise, well, do we it have definitely more, is a feature. Do we have any more leads on the sword? I forget uh, what what's her name told us. So Yasmara told you. Uh, Get bent is what she well, said. You're asking like, was someone who? I'm trying to remember exactly what you asked. She, she mentioned that uh, she had seen the mayor carrying the blade before and wearing it. Um, that's surely the only time she'd ever really seen it. Oh, so that's we right. Were we, were go we were going to go talk to yeah. the... Um, See his Blacksmith political guy. opponents. Uh, Carmen Rajani. <clears throat> that's right. Because yes. he had ran, run against that guy. He had, yes. He had run against him several times and lost uh, by quite a large margin um, every single time. So, um, and they did have another election just about to happen here. Just about to come up. So, who's so, the opponent? Do we know who the opponent is already? I think Carmen is running again. Um, but then, I'm sure you'd probably be seen, seen around town. Um, I believe the other one is Half Elf. Um, which you've not met yet. Okay. Uh, well, she she is the owner of one of the other lumber companies in town, uh, and her name is. I'll just tell you here. If I can find it, uh, it's something Inkleholtz. I believe it's Alimora Inkleholtz. We'll just go with that. Alimora Inkleholtz. Um. So. Yeah, you've well, probably, you, I'd say you've seen posters around. You've probably heard the name. It's it's a fairly well-known person in town. So you guys have been here a while. I'm just Her a bodyguard. Aloha but Mora. I'm just a bodyguard, essentially. So uh, you guys tell me where we're going, what we're doing. Uh, I think we should follow up on the blacksmith first. All right. All right. So we're going um, to the blacksmith. Actually, before we go to him, I want to go to his old partner. Okay. Are you going to go there in the morning? It's getting a bit late at this point. Um, yeah, we might as well close, take so. a rest. Re replenish those spells. We're going to take a rest yes. then. Indeed. Oh, sh shit. What does this Crash the server. No, it was on day. 
instead of hour. I was trying to go forward hours, and then I went forward days instead. God damn it. Okay. Can you how go many back? days? I can go can back. Undo? I just don't remember how many times I clicked it. Because uh, I went forward like five days, ten days. Uh, let me look at my GM notes. That'll help me, I think. Kind of find a... This is a quagmire and a half. Giggity. Huh. Okay. Tron. Yeah. Why does your new yeah, bong look I, like you got I, it from the movie Tron? Right? There Did we you go. It was Desmond specifically City, get a Tron yeah. bong. Uh no, I actually walked in and they were basically It was around then, yeah. They were just like, <laughs> Oh yeah, we got these in stock, and I was like, Oh, that looks cool, I want it. Seriously, you have a Tron bong. I also hit your one. hit your rest <sighs> button, boys. Get your spells back. Oh my Get god! Your back. What? All right, we're gonna say. I now have tonight. to see if there's a thing that exists. What? A Tron? Have you, you've seen the movie Tron, right? Yeah. I Do you know the master the control program? Thirty yeah. minutes of it. I want to know if there's a master control program, Bong. Oh, that'd be cool. So, where are you guys staying for the night? We could stay uh, in town. We could sleep. We could just find a nice place and just kind of sleep under the stars. Is it raining or anything? Uh, no. Is it like oh, it's nice, night. nice out? What's like a nice night? I mean, we have a place specifically for this reason. Yeah, Climate. but you have to remember it's like way out of town. Do you want to travel back? No. You could. I mean, doesn't really I mean we can. It doesn't bother me any. The amount of hate he said that no way. I mean, how long does it, it take to get there and back? Two hours by foot. I imagine you'd get there quicker by piss foot. <laughs> piss foot um, two hours? No, we wouldn't travel two hours just to Yeah, go there. I suppose that's true. Um not a chance. Yeah, we'll find some place to stay, I guess. Okay, cool. Like until you have to like reallocate those skills or whatever we need to do, get me unlikenthropped. Um, we need to get a and, place that's closer, or we need to get a faster transportation. I don't think we got money for that, man. I think you do. You can find something. Faster transportation? Why don't you just steal faster transportation? Isn't that your whole thing? Stealing? No, my whole thing is <laughs> magic and guns. Uh huh. Shooting magic out of guns. What? What's all this about? The about stealing? I I've never been so. Check that thievery skill of yours. <laughs> all right. So you guys find a place to stay in town. Blah blah blah. Uh, so you're gonna head to the market next, right? Yes. Cool. Let's play some market music. It's just Skrillex. Mm. What's floating Bang market? Ring. Let's do floating market. Just a second here. It's probably a market in the sky. Or yep. just on water. Or on water. So it might have a, uh... There we go. Okay, we're headed to the market. And Atari. <coughs> yeah, I don't know where I put that scene. I have so many scenes in this. Here we go. All right. Hey, well, I can finally I can finally visit the store. You gonna go visit that store? Yeah, I don't know why not. All right. They're probably yeah, busy doing other older... crap. Yeah, there's an older gentleman in there. Um, here he is. What uh, what kind of stuff's in the store? I'm just kind of looking around. Oh, you see lots of kitchen utensils and that kind of thing. Mostly spoons. Mm. Mostly spoons? Old, old, yes, old man here. Uh, it's like, hey, welcome. Uh, as you can see here, I've got spoons from all over the land here. I'm 
Got a col quite the collection here, but seeing as I'm getting older, I need to downsize. I'll be selling some of my collection here. So, got spoons all the way from Five Kings Mountains and even uh, as far as uh, uh, Markham Buyer. So, uh, let me know if there's anything that. Uh, uh, Do I see any spoons? Do I see any spoons that look special? Like more special than the others, possibly? Can I do a perception check? Uh, see sure. If... What would be special to Sewell? I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I'm not uh, like, it's not like I'm looking for anything specific. I'm just kind of like, is there something that pops out to me? you find some, like a very nice set that is from your homeland. It's even got like very nice stylized characters in for the local Tian Sha language um, and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, maybe some like floral accents and and that kind of thing um, as well. Um, so that one really Man, sticks I out roll, to you. I roll a nat 20 <laughs> in the spoon shop. Um. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask him how much are these spoons? How much are they? These special Tianja. Oh, those are uh, made of pure silver. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. I don't know how much. If you tried to eat with one, you might die. I don't know how much uh, that would be either. Silver spoons. Silver. Let's see. Uh, I mean, it's really very like high class set of set uh, of silverware. There. I would say it's not just spoons, but a full set of silverware there. Um, okay. Perhaps this is valuable to you since you do know that. Uh, your, your last set of silverware that you had uh, seems to have disappeared once Mr. Zogglefart got his hands on it. Uh, <laughs> he stole my silverware? He took all the silverware and put them in his gun. <laughs> oh, yeah. That jerk. He cleaned out that kitchen. <laughs> I'll, I'll say they're just like, uh, uh, I don't know, a couple gold pieces. That's, that's quite a bit for something like that. So I say two gold pieces. First spoon. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, two gold pieces for the whole set. Quite valuable. Uh, uh, you know yeah, what? I'll it's buy them. Quite em. a good eye. <clears throat> you you know what? You got yourself a deal, sir. All two right, gold player. pieces. I don't know how I put silver spoons. Yeah, it's just a they just worth item. two gold. Yeah, two gold. Yeah. Okay, I'll just put them in treasure and just put it as two gold. So cool. All right, you can go do whatever Shane's going to do. I'm buying spoons. What? <laughs> Listen, you can come along with. It just doesn't have to be my fucking thing. <laughs> I just figured we're not. Well, we don't necessarily have to have the same goals. We can do our own shenanigans. Fair enough. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna go up to him and be like, uh, and just be like, "Good, good morning to you, sir. Uh, I believe you said you'd have something ready for me today. Is that true?" Oh, oh yes. Uh, well, hmm. Well, what with the fire and whatnot, it, it did uh, make it a bit difficult for me to do. Uh, you came here so much more earlier than what I anticipated. Uh, oh. So I'm sorry, well, the order's not quite ready yet, but uh, just give me a little more time. A week at the most, because that is when the you know the merchants will from the other lands would be you know arriving here for the Fairwood the, the Fairwood Festival. Uh, oh, what do they call it around here? The Founders Festival. <clears throat> yeah, well, so I, I, I'll I, check I, back I tomorrow sorry. morning. Then it's just that adamantine is just so hard to come by. Um, Oh, don't I know it, sir? Well, Dang, yes. I totally forget what it is I ordered that for. Well, um, yeah, you needed it. For, well, I don't know. You ordered it for a uh, Oku spell. 
You need like scrap. That's right. We needed it. We needed scrap for Oku's spell. Um. So, um, and we needed like scrap. Uh, that and cold iron, if we could get it, I think is what we were looking for. Cold iron <laughs> and adamantine, just those two things, I believe. Yep. Yes. And he wanted some silver. He's got silver. Oh yeah, because he's got the actual silver pieces. Silver pieces. The silver coins. Yeah. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, so if you have a moment, there's another issue that I, I wanted to discuss with you. One of a more, I suppose, personal matter, if you'd be willing to discuss with me. Oh, how could I be of service? Um, I kind of like look around. Is there anybody else in the shop at the moment? I just nope. walked in. Uh, <clears throat> using, uh, I'm going to guess that this tent doesn't really have a door. Does it have like a curtain or something like that? Yeah, just a curtain. Uh, I use my cane and just kind of use it to draw the curtain closed real quick. And I'm like, listen, I don't know if you heard about the uh, goings on at the church yesterday. Oh, yes, of course. I mean, everybody knows about that is... Yes, uh, I heard the. Actually, I saw myself that you you uh, did quite a bit to get out of control. So. Uh, yes, we've agreed to help the church you. out in recovering some things that were have gone missing since. In return for well, our, uh, our good fortune and good health. Did, did, did you, did you uh, have, to have my the bells back the, that that you borrowed? The bells. The, b b you, you, like the, the thing, the thing. That... Oh, the bellows. Oh, yes. Bellows. Uh, uh, I do have those. Uh, they worked uh, quite a trip as uh, for pumping water, truth be told. Not what they're intended for, but uh, I mean, library is important too, so I, am, uh, I understand. Uh, nice and clean. I'll give. It, I'll tell you that much. Uh, yes. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, you may want to let that one dry. But, um, listen, we are just trying to make sense of some things that happened at the uh, church yesterday. Uh, tell me, what do you know? What can you tell me of your old business partner? A business partner? No. I, I mean, I would have loved to become his business partner, but, uh, in. Horrible man, oh my lord. Ha! <laughs> uh, yes, no, that does no, seem I'm better to be... off without him, but no, 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 no. I was simply employed by him, but, uh, you know, I just had some suggestions and... That, that does seem to be a sentiment that's shared about town. Um... Ah, uh, yes. What can you tell me of his previous political ambitions? Oh, well, he's... Th Thought quite highly of himself, thinking that, you know, him being a descendant of the Rose God, Volrajani herself, uh, and thinking that he was then entitled to be, you know, well recognized by the town and be mayor himself. Uh, well, but uh, yes, so, I mean, his speeches were, uh, you know, just as conceited as. You know, you would expect of a man with that type of attitude. Uh, so, I don't know. People really thought it was a joke, but then found out that, yeah, he was actually serious about the whole thing. When so, he yeah, but... failed to secure office for himself, how, would you say that he was upset? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, felt betrayed by the whole entire town, in fact. Uh, hmm. Yes. Took it out on me a fair amount of times. It's just, just ugh. election time. I always dreaded election time because he was just so much more of an asshole than he was. We're just saying something. Is there anything that he ever gave credit to as far as uh, his losses go? I mean, he must have had some opinions on what it was that caused him to lose those elections. Well, he did say. Oh, let's see here. He just, he did make comments about how, uh, 
Mayor Osif has the whole town wrapped around his thumb. And... Mm hmm. He was just felt very betrayed, I think. Of... I remember him saying, how dare he carry that sword around. Huh. So you His would say that he... sword. Hmm. So you would say that he was the jealous sword as far as that sword was concerned. <laughs> oh, yes, jealous, in fact. Yes, absolutely. Yes. <clears throat> hmm. Jealous, jealous enough person that he might I've do something about met. it? Perhaps. Yes, yeah, per yeah, he may have. Um, you know, he has quite a bad reputation around here in town, you know? He gets into fights and... Yeah. I wanted to do... I, I don't uh, usually tell people this, but, you know, I don't really like him at all, you know, so... I, I want right to do a perception but... check on him to see how believable I find... Not necessarily how believable I find his answers, but, like... I kind of want to get his attitude on this, but also, yeah, I do kind of want to see where he's at with, like, uh, being on the up and up as well. Oh, yeah, no, he is, I'd say he's a fantastic resource for information on Carmen specifically, just because he spent a lot of time on him. I mean, he does have very much, uh, a biased opinion on him just because of his experience, but I think he tells you, like, if you feel like he's telling you very like truthful information, you know he's not making okay. stuff up or anything. So because yeah, feel like, he's like a valid uh, source of information. I was so. I was basically trying to see whether this was one of those things where he just fucking hates the guy, which you know, understandable if he's a dick, or if he hates him enough to to do a frame job. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, you guys have had interaction with him before. He's has been very like accommodating forthcoming and, and, and kind to you guys before you know like and, and so you had the most experience with him beforehand because he was you know right even he took the time out of his day to give you a very in-depth explanation about how runes work and that kind of thing um and so uh yeah um yeah so uh, d despite uh his poor experience with vault uh, with uh, Carmen, uh, if you feel like he's pretty, uh, out, you know, pretty forthcoming. Forthcoming, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um. I mean, is there anything else you want to know? I mean, I, I, I no, know. no, I think that's about what I was looking for. Um. <clears throat> Yes, hmm. uh, well, uh, just uh, by your own curiosity, uh, what is this all about? Um, um that I might, we, I will, uh, I am going to keep close to the chest, just, uh, yeah. active, right. uh, if, you know, still looking into things Fair that enough. I don't want necessarily to be known so far. Okay, well, right. yeah, that's fine. Well, any, if I may be of service, uh, at all. Uh, Customer uh, confidentiality. Uh, yeah. uh, he's like, you've already been of incredible service so far. And I use my cane to kind of like tip my hat to him. And he's like, uh, and then use it to like sweep the uh, um, uh, uh, curtain back. And I'm like, good day to you, sir. Oh, good day. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, 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 good luck to you. With whatever it is that you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so i like walk out of there uh kind of discussing with soul i'm like uh it's starting to seem i mean picture seems to be forming that uh perhaps we might have our our gentleman hmm well are there any investigations we should talk to him first someone might have want to make about that sure Just i'll roll a, a perception check on that um on what specifically maybe underworld lore to see if yeah. ooh actually you might want to see like if 
do you, underworld lore might be a good one to know whether or not this was like a one man job or if this was if maybe you think that more than one person was involved oh i see what you're trying to say yeah like what are the circumstances of yeah from what we saw yesterday yeah that's mm. a good point i yeah. think i'm gonna go with that yeah go for it uh wow maybe use that hero point um, you do that yeah I'm, I'm no i'm using that hero point 17 is still not bad but yeah it's up to you well i mean okay hero right, point. whatever hero point there's no point in using the hero point it's not like i can like what am i gonna no do point. no point no point there's no point okay fine yeah all right we'll what stick does with you get 17. from it all right from 17 um let's see here yeah that's right sneak up close Come, child, listen. I'm just checking your sheets, making sure you Come, guys have your points in there. Come, stay a while and listen. Regale me with a tail. There we go. Come, Hero stay points. a while and listen. And Oku. Your point. Perfect. All right. Um, so with a 17, uh, I would say... I mean, it's hard to say with uh, the amount of clues that you have. The clue that you have, well, you have you have like stories about Carmen and you, the other clue you have is that there was some soot found at, at the site. Um, and yeah, the fire was set. The item was stolen. It could have gone either way. You know, someone could have been a system or, you know, it wouldn't be too far fetched if he had done it himself either. Um, so you guys would oh. get more evidence, but, um, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. We did only see the one set of footprints, though, right? That's well, true. Yeah. One set of footprints. Why don't we just? So. Why don't we just go see the guy? Maybe we'll take a look around his place before we actually talk to him. You know, a lot of people just hide stuff outside. True. Uh, yeah. Does anybody want to try and talk to him? I can try and sneak around and see if I can find anything. I can talk to him. I got, I got some, I got probably better charisma than you do, man. Possible. Maybe, maybe not. My diplomacy is 11. <laughs> Which I isn't bad. I know what mine is. Let me drag the party over here. My intimidation's 13. Uh, my diplomacy is a 10, but my deception's a 12. Ooh, I don't have deception. Or, I... I do, but I'm untrained. I only have a plus 2 to charisma, though. I got a plus 3. That's where mine comes from. Um... All right. Uh, I've worked for this guy before. I think we might want to see if I can. All right, I want to scope. This I think I helped him. I think I worked for him once too. Yeah, you guys Just did the blacksmith. Help. Yep. Yep. So, uh, do you want to talk to him about? Um, we'll go in and uh, pretend like we're looking for a job. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna say the door is locked. What? How dare you? Yeah. Um, I, you want me to knock? I'll knock. I'm gonna go around the building here. Actually, I'm gonna okay, see what go I check can it see. Kind of going around the back. Is there a sign out front or anything that says like they're closed? Oh, there is no back. Uh, be back later. There's a sign. There's a sign that says "Blades for Glades," and uh, it's got. Like is there, hatchet, there like a sign that says like back in five minutes and a sword crossed. Uh, nope, nope. It's so weird though. I mean, this place usually would be open on a day like today. Well, let me take a uh, look at the calendar. Do uh, I see anything like through the windows here? Yeah, it's a, like it's like Mon Mon whatever whatever the Galarian Monday is. Uh, <laughs> it should be, days. It should be open today. Um. Um. Uh, so yeah, Moon Day. Moon Day. That's right. I it's think we should go back to what's his name, um, the guy we were just at, and see if he knows where this guy lives. Uh, we don't see anybody in the shop, right? 
Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, if you're like listening and looking around, it's well, like we can see quiet, the entire shop quiet. through the windows over here. You don't want to check it out. Yeah, you, can, you might you hide. Can peek in. Well, you that's what I'm saying. Is like is like being over here. You can see the entirety of the shop through the windows. Right. Mm -hmm. But but uh yeah, I'm thinking maybe we do take a quick peek. Um, I'm going to. <gasps> I'm going to use my fancy new thieves tools. Okay. Um. So these give me a plus one bonus. I don't that's know if that's going to be automatically added in or not. <coughs> well, we'll find out. Oh, actually, I might have to go. I might have to. I can look something. at the rules and check it out. <coughs> um, let's see here. There, now I can see the whole shop except for one tiny area. Uh, where did? There's like a grate here. My thieves tools go. Oh, I guess that's for the forge. Okay. Held one hand, we'll say. Does that... Actually, I want to see whether or not that... Just have to equip it. That's what I'm trying to do. Um. Um. Can you wear it? It does say that I can wear it. Just wear it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, just skills. Uh, where? It's worn. I can change it to held one hand, too. Maybe oh. I do have to change it to held. It's now um, held in one hand. I changed it for you. Okay. Roll the dice. See if it adds it. Um. So 22. 22. Does not look like it did. Uh, it so that should be a 23. Try wearing okay. it. I tried. And then roll you it. You are wearing it. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, no. Uh, you feel like you heard a little click as you are uh, working on getting it to open. Yep. I kind of give a uh, look back and forth. And uh, when I feel like the coast is clear, I'm going to go ahead and head on in. Okay. And, uh, like, wave my companions to come with me. All right, cool. Yeah, and after two successes, it does open. <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay, there we go. So, yeah. Uh, did it, did it actually, add it that time? Actually, the first one was a success. The other one with your 30, 30. was a critical success. So, yeah, it does pop nice. open. So, yeah, uh, you get it in two tries where it normally would have taken three. I'm going to stand guard. Sure would be nice if I could have someone help me investigate this building. I'm curious if there's a mystery afoot. <laughs> um, I'm going to see whether or not there are any... Uh, first thing we're going to do is detect magic. Uh, just kind of like ping around and see if there's any magic auras that I... Uh, pick up. Uh, yeah, there are some auras you pick up. Uh, typically, like from weapons that you see a handy on the wall. There's a couple that have runes and such. Um, uh, there's a chest, uh, kind of behind the counter. Well, let's I hopped see the where counter. Would be a good place for a chest here. Yeah. Uh, that one seems to have the most auras inside of it. Um, all right. Um, can I tell whether this thing is trapped or anything? Uh, can I make a thievery check as far as that goes? Sure. That would be, that'd be perception, maybe. Uh, we can call that my. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, okay. Um, it it doesn't appear to be trapped. It does have a good good lock on it, though. 
It does have a very a better, good lock. Okay. A better lock than what the uh, the door had. All right. Uh, I'm going to take my time here and just keep trying to unlock this thing. Okay. Yep, you're going to click on that one. You're going to click on that one. You get a plus one with your Thieves tools? Oh. Yes, I get a plus one. So 15. No click? Uh, 15. Or do uh, I hear a negative see. click? Is a negative click on that one. I think, uh, I believe with your Atari's tools, uh, this, that's a critical failure with that one. Um, Otari's tools. Um, you can repair them or replacing the lockpicks with a replacement picks appropriate to your tools. Okay. So I guess it doesn't do anything, but yeah, uh, your, your pick breaks on that last one. Good thing that I have replacement tools with me because I have a um, thief's tool kit. Perfect. A separate... Um, so, yes, I will go ahead and just make another thievery check. 23? Nope. Not quite. Nope. 26 will do it, or 27 will do it. It will do it. Uh, yeah, it pops open. There are some, uh, a couple different blades in there. And actually, as you open it, you, there's some smoke rising from uh, the chest. Um, I dive backwards. <laughs> and inside, uh, you do see a very familiar looking sword. It's a smoking sword that Soul had once sold uh, to, mm. to uh, Carmen a long time ago. I totally thought that was going to be a trap. Okay, uh, yeah, I come back. Um, I look at what we have in the chest here. Is it just weapons? Yeah, yeah, it's just some sort of, like, usually, like, like masterwork uh, quality. Uh, it's a smaller chest, so it's, like, the lawn sword, I think, is the biggest that could fit in there. Um, so out of that, you know, it, you're going to see more, like, a, a couple scimitars in there, like, they're, like, wrapped nicely so that they don't, like, you know, get, like, scratched or damaged by other weapons in there and that kind of thing, but, um, so yeah, they're kind of wrapped in cloth and, um, yeah, but as far as magical ones, that's the magical one that you see there. So, um, okay, um, nothing you didn't know that he had. Uh, I would. Uh, hey, Namiad, um, would you be willing to help me out with something? Uh, I need your uh investigative prowess on this one. I'd like to see if maybe there are any tools that are missing. Maybe like some empty places where tools should be. Maybe mm. perhaps used in some sort of heist. Oh, interesting. Uh, let's see. I mean, if they were thieves tools of some kind, I don't think he would have them out on display here. Um, no, but we have like free access to his shop. So I'm like back here looking amongst like all of his tools and stuff. And... I would say that might be like an underworld lore check to be like, oh, like he could use this as like a makeshift and then, oh, like this and this and this. But like he would still need. Go ahead this, and roll an underworld this. check. Yeah, you haven't rolled one yet and talked about it. I, don't... Well, I guess you did that one before. But yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay, 21. 21. So underworld, the only underworld you know of within this town is the Osprey Club. Uh, okay. So uh, we already they went probably there have the most game. amount of information. You talked to one person there. Um, we should have asked if he's ever had involvement with them before, or have. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We asked like, about him the, a little bit, but yeah, but we, not specifically on the job. Just if he's been part of that club, if he goes in and out a lot. He spent some time in that tavern. I would say that you guys know that much. Um, that's kind of where he typically frequents. Is is over so, at uh, um, the Osprey? That that place. Uh, I forget the name. It's of not that unheard of from pe of people who frequent thieves bars to be thieves. Turns out. So, 
if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it isn't a Crook's rooster. Nook. The Crook's Nook is the name of that one. Um, <clears throat> Shane, if you go to your proficiencies, yeah, and then you go to thievery, there's a button that says modifiers. If you click that, you can add an item modifier. What? Hmm. Oh, that's neat. I did not know that. I think I've done it for a couple things that like wouldn't attach correctly. Uh, modifiers. Add plus one. Yeah, and just for the name of it, you could put uh, ah! Otari's tools or whatever. Infiltrator tools. I think that's what they're called. These tools. And then when you do your roll, it should show that item underneath the check. Add in a bonus. It'll nice. probably just say plus one item bonus. Hey, yeah. look at that. Nice. That's cool. dope as hell. So if you ever need to add a modifier for whatever reason, something's not connecting. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um. Yes. Uh. So did I see anything that makes me think maybe... Um... Uh, anything missing out of place compared to last time you were in here? Um, I would say, I mean, I mean, he had a lot of tools around just in case, you know, because he's like always okay. swinging hammers and such. Uh, There's probably weapons everywhere. Hey, you're a weird a Sherlock too. Holmes type. So. Can you check the soot that's in this uh, uh, forge here and compare it to the soot that we found at the scene of the crime? Yeah. That would roll that perception. I'll give you a plus one for pursuing a lead. Okay. Dirty 20. 21. 20. 21. No, that's e no, it's it's a 20. I added the plus one already. Oh, oh okay. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'd say tw DC 20 is pretty good. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks very similar. Hmm. Kind of. Do the... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, tastes like shit. <laughs> I mean, suit. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of a uh, d and show I watch. There's a bit in it where someone's trying to pretend to be a detective and he just takes glass and puts it in his mouth what the fuck? oh god <laughs> really yum yum oh, it's, it's uh it's one of brennan lee mulligan's um oh of course it is shows yeah yeah i'll send you the clip it's fucking amazing yeah that dude is a genius uh his players are great too actually facts every single one of them um, but yeah, I think we have a pretty solid lead. I think we're going to head back to that other guy and, uh, see if we can't f figure out where this guy lives. Do you want to do anything about the door? Like relock it? I was just going to say, do we, can I find a spare key in here somewhere? <laughs> uh, hmm, I'd say no, probably not. I mean, there's, it'd take a long time and even then. He probably keeps his keys on him. Uh, <coughs> is it a deadbolt? You mean give me a perception check? Let's be a pretty high DC to find a spare you key. You could relock the chest. You could relock the chest, though, at the very least. You might just 20, think he forgot to lock 20, the door. 20. I yeah, figure no, he, he would probably. Uh, I figure he would probably uh, be more convinced that he forgot to lock the um chest than it is he forgot to lock the door mm -hmm. i don't know i would just lock the chest though because he didn't forget to lock everything you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah well we are nobody as far as i know nobody knows that we're in here at the moment so i will go ahead and try and lock the chest that should just that should just be a lock right you should yeah. just be able to shut that and yeah you could just oh yeah i suppose again. yeah yeah just click uh that i would have done but yes <laughs> i will attempt to try and soul get your bird face out of the way i can't open the door 
There we go. <laughs> uh, yes, I will attempt to close up shop here and lock the door. All right, cool. Eventually, you did it. <laughs> okay. All right. It wasn't too hard. <clears throat> All right. Uh... So yeah, uh, you want to find out where he lives? Um, yeah, I figure his old uh, employee might know where he lives. All right, back to the market then. You can buy some more spoons. Back to the market. No, hey, I almost yeah. got a whole. I almost got a whole dinnerware set, dude. Nice. I just need some plates, and I'm good to go. I'm just yeah. saying, like, yeah, we're like walking there, and like, I'm just saying, like, we live in a rotten fishing. <clears throat> fishing house uh, uh, given to you deck for chairs on the Titanic and whatnot. What the hell is a Titanic? Oh, uh, it was a giant killer robot that was invented at uh, uh, in. All right, I don't need to hear your stories anymore. Oh my god, what is the quit referencing things? Alkenstar, uh, that was built in <laughs> Alkenstar, never really worked right. They, they took it out once and it immediately collapsed upon itself. No, no, no. Everyone knows it's a sentient iceberg that blew up a ship with its laser eyes. God, <laughs> Jesus. If I remember right, Leonardo it said was... he had enough. There was enough room on the door. Leonardo that said, bitch. fuck that bitch, and then <laughs> cut her throat and threw her in the ocean for shark food. <laughs> what? I don't know, man. I'm making this up on the fly. Okay. Uh, no, yeah, it was this. It was an iceberg that got bombed to death by a, a ship. Yeah. Mm. And some and somebody died on a door. Yeah. And then threw a precious gem in the ocean later on for some yes. reason because James Cameron wanted her to. Okay. Like um. That. Yeah, I come back and I'm like, long time no see, friend. Oh, back so soon. Yeah. Oh, what, yes, what well, feel? I tried to go visit our, our, our mutual yeah, friend, seems like a strong word, but um, uh, closed up shop for the day. But the business that I have with him is ever so pressing, you understand. I was hoping you could enlighten me to uh, where he may uh, call home. Uh, I'd like to visit him at his domicile, if that is at oh, all word. possible. On an ad break, I think. We are on an ad break. All no! right, yes. We'll take a very quick ad break. Be back in two and a half minutes. That All right. Guy. And we're back. Like, oh, <coughs> uh, so how might be of may I be of service? Uh, you had to I told you morning. I want to know your your old boss's house. Where is it? Oh. I want to go there. Oh, well, why would I want to go there? Yeah, that, but more. No, out. I want to go there. The, I have very we, just, we need to talk to the guy. It is a matter of life and death. Well, it's a matter of. Well, he, sh he should be at his shop. Uh, <laughs> he. It is He's very closed shop. for the day. We went. It was locked, and then we left. It's very odd. He's, yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, he took the day off. He took a vacation for once. Huh. Of Listen, we our that. business is very important. <coughs> I mean, we we're willing to track this thing down like a bloodhound. And I maybe he's I, I, I nudge soul. Listen, we're really gonna sink our teeth into this whole thing. I just keep nudging him. I'll kill uh, you before I turn into a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do it. I've seen him do it. Don't worry. I don't think uh, that was in character. No, I think I said it in character. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. I Listen, he's being facetious. I don't think he is. That's kind of a weird joke. But, uh, anyway. anyway, no, I'm not quite sure where he lives. Uh, I, you know, for some reason, he never invited me over for dinner. Huh. Uh, any business partners that is a joke. Or, of course or friends of his that you know of? Uh, well, he would spend some time over at the Crook's Nook. Uh, quite frequently, in fact. <laughs> He'd always be walking over there. And... Well, Wait, I guess we're going to make it a full lap then. Back to the Crook's Nook, gentlemen. Wow. Who is that lady married to? You don't know. She didn't want to tell you. Oh my gosh, maybe she isn't on it. Hmm. 
Go back to the crook's nook. Are we playing like housewives? It does appear to be we're, that way. <laughs> we're just like trying to find the drama. Yeah. Who's married to who? All right. So yeah, you come back to the crook's nook. Um, this feels like the real housewives of Otari. I'd say not many people would be in here at this point. So I'm going to remove these guys. Seeing as and it's I remove like the 10 rest o'clock in the morning and it's a bar. So. There is just one guy in there and that is Shad, I think his name was. Check my GM note. He just lives here. Yeah, we'll say it was Weasel. Weasel the halfling was in there. Is 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 there? <laughs> is he a drunk? He's just sitting there, leaning back in his chair, just shing, just chilling. Shing, this gentleman's got the right shing, idea. Ten a.m. seems like the perfect shing, time for whiskey. Shing. Yep, drinking whiskey and shopping in my knives. Shing. Shing. <laughs> uh, I go over to... What's her face? Uh, Namiya looks at the guy and goes, I myself prefer the uh, devil's lettuce. Being who I am and all. Oh, devil's I don't lettuce, get it. eh? Yeah. God damn it, what is her name? Um... Yin Yasmara. Yin Yasmara. Ah. These names, man. Gamble, Good morning back? to you, Yin. Or can I call Good you Yaz? I do like Yaz. Yes. All right. Well, Yaz. Smokey, Smokey. Call me Yaz from now on, okay? You got it, boss. <laughs> Shink. Shink. <laughs> um, Yaz. I'm looking for a certain, um... Uh, um, disgrun often disgruntled blacksmith, uh, and I hear that you might know his whereabouts. Not in the shop today. We're looking for his abode, if you would ha be so kind as to provide us with that information. Hmm. I hear he spends a lot of time here. I figure he's had to be walked home at least once or twice. Uh, walked home? Well... I, uh, Walked I home, okay. I don't know if anyone would be walking here, but. Oh, hey, bud. I don't think he'd be willing to be walked home um, by anyone. He tends to be quite uh, independent. Uh, but, you know, he, he will at times um, take jobs here. Um, so, I must say, not many of the boys like working with him too much. Uh, tends to get a little rough. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're looking for him, I would recommend going to check him out at his shop. He does uh, usually. Yeah, shop seems to be otherwise occupied today. He seems to be otherwise <laughs> occupied today. Uh, shop is closed. Oh, is that so? It is, in fact. All right, can I? One does never cease. I know. Well, then. Here, my will throw it to me. I'll wear it. To. Perhaps he, uh, perhaps he left town for a while. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people su supposing today, so far as I've seen. Hmm. Kind of odd, though. I imagine that he would have run for mayor again, unless he wanted to, you know, expect to be back before the festival and whatnot. The election's just before then, so. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and roll perception. I'm I'm not picking up what she's putting down. Okay. I think she knows more than she's letting up fuck. Yeah, sixteen. Uh you're not sure um kind of what her intentions are, I guess. Um uh, she seems to be as you know, as forthcoming she was last night. Um uh, Oh, how's Soul feeling about it? Looking over my shoulder. I would say Soul, um, what you notice is that she had have a bit of a quizzical look on her face, uh, when you mentioned that he's not there and, uh, 
Um, yeah, she seems to be deep in thought for a moment. Um, so it's abnormal, like he should be there. Yeah, he should be there, but he's not. So she's, yeah. So she's 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 got some thoughts that she's not sharing with you guys. But you don't know if it's something that is helpful to your investigation or not. Um, I don't know how much Sherman said to her when he was flirting with her. <clears throat> um, Not a lot. He's been very close to the chest as far as what he's shared. Um, yeah. Listen. Mm. If you... Uh, I guess I wouldn't know what Soul knows. Um, I, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'd probably... Listen. I know that no good bar owner would ever want to give unnecessary information about one of their customers. But it does seem like one of your best customers could be in a spot of trouble, and I think it would behoove both you and him if you have any information uh, about his whereabouts or any thoughts that you may have. Um, Honestly, where that man goes, trouble seems to follow. Hmm. Any sort of particular trouble? All sorts of trouble. You know, that man is quite a... Is he, a is he an arsonist? Parts here. Is he... I don't know about that, but... Uh, well... So if that kind of trouble wouldn't be in his wheelhouse, what would? Well... Let me tell you a story about Mr. Carmen Rajani. He thinks full well that uh, he's royalty from Nidal. Of course, this is no Nidal, so I mean, no one's really cares about that at all. Um, but yes, uh, I mean the legend is that Volvershani, his ancestor, was uh, part of royalty of the nation she came from. And so, yes, his family was very well off for quite some time. His parents uh, died an early death, and he was left with their fortune. But after that, he... Uh, Pissed it away. It off and, yeah, essentially, through gambling and whatnot. So, yeah, he was looking for extra work. And so, he found himself here. I'd give him um... a job from time to time. So, can I make a society check to see if I know any places around town that are associated with royalty or his bloodline? Yeah. Fuck. There's nothing you can think of. Uh, hmm. This is a small town of 1,200 people. If royalty has any place to. Well, I'm go. just saying, like, it usually wouldn't be associated here. with it. Like, um, yeah, the it, like maybe they have a statue town, or something. Nah, no, you know, the highest noble you know of is Osef Menhims, the mayor of Otari. Although it, they tend to be the ones that run the lumber companies around here. Those are the 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 nobility around here, or maybe like someone who perhaps runs like part of the fishing industry. Uh, uh, that kind of thing, so. Huh. Um. Yeah, what about the rest of you guys? Uh, Gamble's kind of taking point on this. What, what, what are the rest of you guys wanted to say at this point? <clears throat> um. Soul notice oh, no, I mean, but... deep in thought. Uh, I'd like to see, so like, the, the, I think the Think of something to say, and they run to uh, diplomacy checks of some kind, and uh... can I just like firmly ask her what you know? Something, tell us what you know. I don't really know, but he may not even be there. It's just a suspicion of mine. I don't... Anything can help. I think it'd be best for everyone in the end if you just help us. 
what is it that you are just so focused on? Why do you want... Why do you want to meet with him? I mean, nobody... Nobody wants to be with him. I mean... He's kind of... Honestly... Quite the despicable man. Uh, why are you so earnest to find him? It's in connection with the uh, lighthouse that we were investigating. He's just another... P piece in the puzzle and we just wanted to make sure we take care of this yeah uh, roll diplomacy check that's pretty good I'll even give you a bonus on it <clears throat> diplomacy diplomancy I want to assist uh, Namia you're, uh, this is an investigation you've been so quiet uh, Namia can do a diplomacy as well that. All right. What are you gonna say and make a roll? Um, so I think Namiad would just be like kind of offering sort of like encouraging statements towards like what um sort of soul is saying. Um, like what? <clears throat> oh, frig! I don't know, man. <laughs> Sherman just kind of like looks he's over at, at her and he's like, "Don't ask me to get specific right now. It's not gonna happen." Uh, yeah. Sherman <laughs> looks over at, after he says that and he's like. Leave it to a samurai to cut to the quick. Pretty much. <laughs> Man speaks mm. the truth. Okay, so he has something to do with the lighthouse. I don't know what it would be, but if it's to help Otari, then I guess I could trust you not to be telling other people about this place that I'm about to tell you about. Of course. Discretion. Well, there is a place that we go. It's a bit of a hideout. I mean, the Osprey Club sometimes needs to hide some of the things that we, you know, some of the things that come into our possession for a time. And there's a cave. We call it the Smuggler's Cave. It's been... It's been well known amongst our guild for quite some time so if someone were to hide out somewhere i would imagine that would be a place to go now where could you show us where this is i mean it sounds like trouble if we were to go out for a walk in nature one day we would want to avoid it as much as possible it's not the safest place uh, you know place to get to, I can tell you that much, but uh, it would be about an hour west of here. Um, if I remember correctly, you live out in that direction. Um, so I'd see... Did, say, it, it, did we it, end up at Smuggler's Cave at some point? No, you never... Okay. No. It's it's in the direction, sort of, so you're along the coastline, yeah. so yours is like southwest, and she's saying two hours along the coast, and one hour west is if you were heading that direction. Uh, well, yes, we do yeah. live that way. Perhaps it is about time we went back back home, gentlemen. We do have uh, some chores. I'm sure the chores are piling up. Dusting needs to be done, uh, uh, I'm quite certain of. That's why we got that uh, thing that just hangs out there. The ghost? Yeah. Can it clean up? Uh, notoriously bad dusters. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Ollie the, <laughs> Ollie the Scallywing? Yeah, that thing. Yes. Yeah, he cleans. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey? I God think he told has me. <laughs> that was the deal. He saves, but he has to clean. <laughs> yeah. uh, and Gamble does not eat him. That's right. Um, I, I'm like, you've been very gracious, man. Much obliged. We will uh, leave you to run your establishment with your very scary knife, gentlemen. Shing. Shing. <laughs> Good luck, boys. Shing. I, what? I, I forgot what, what we're calling her now. What is it? It's, um. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Much obliged, yes. Good day to you. Best of luck to you, gentlemen. <laughs> All right. All right. That's where you guys headed now. I think we got to head to the smuggler's cave. 
stop at home, All right. get a bite to eat. Uh, I whistle for Oku. <laughs> then Oku just changes to the, their regular form and flips you off. <laughs> I wish I had a... Actually, I think there is an animation for that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> for flipping it's called, people off? Oh, the bird. I, it's, I'm uh, not you kidding. Control space, no. <laughs> yes, all right. Uh, uh, so you guys are going to go... Belunking through the wilderness, huh? Yeah, might as well. We gotta kill things anyways to level All right. up, right? Some survival oh. checks. This is like thick woods you're gonna be going through. Uh, oh, really? Survival? I'm really bad at that. Yep. I don't think any of us are good at that. Yeah, Sherman wouldn't... <laughs> be able to find his way Sherman <laughs> grew why up in a do city. I even bother rolling at this point like you just got to make more rolls eventually one of them's going to be good right wait where's on. this button where's this button there it is I think there is one person who's good at survival but um he ain't here anymore <laughs> Oku maybe Oku's not bad at it Oku got 11 Oku got a 21. <laughs> I wrote for Oku first. Damn yeah, it. Yeah. All right. Uh, Souls didn't do too terrible. Not too bad. Yeah, you kind of get the general direction as you're making your way there. Um, I would say, oh, did Oku roll high I'm enough to at here. least assist Soul? Not at all. <laughs> 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 He's got a three and a four. You gotta put on your wilderness top hats. Uh, hold on, I gotta do some stuff here quick. Um, um, we are too high society to be traveling through these woods. You're like, oh, I'm sorry. Would this be better? Uh, and all of a sudden, I turn into a caveman with a loincloth and my... Um, <laughs> Uh, Kane turns into a club. Ooga booga and whatnot. Is that more what you're looking for out here? Did you say Uber Uber? I said Ooga booga <laughs> and whatnot. The Uber can't get you everywhere, man. Sometimes yeah, there's you gotta no walk. Ubers in the woods. <sighs> he, yeah, he dismisses the um, uh, illusion. <laughs> There's just a horse in every town called Uber. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyone can use it. <laughs> Awful. All right, let me change our tunes here as we are leaving town and going instead to forest. Um, okay, you guys get into the forest. Uh, let's have a good scene for this one. Hmm, let's see here. It's like an old video game trope. You'd have a cowboy game with a horse and everything called Uber. They just look different, so people would try to ride them to different towns or something. Some of them don't even look different. <laughs> it's just a fucking door to another area. Disguised as a horse. Now video games, it's just like, you just keep going. It's yeah. just like, oh, you could just get the car you want. You just have it. All right, here, for as see. little as free 99. Yeah, there's that too. There's good things and bad things about modern video games for sure. All right, we'll just do a scene of the mind. I don't have a s oh, maybe there's a good scene for this. There's websites for this where you can just like type in a thing, make a quick map in two seconds, and it's like, oh yeah, yeah you send I it to me one time, there. and then I lost it. Yeah, that's that's the problem. I send them to people, and then I forget about them. And... That's okay. We don't need a map for this thing. So I rolled some checks for you guys. Um, 
So you're making your way through the woods. It's really thick, uh, kind of underbrush. Uh, eventually, you do kind of find a trail. Uh, you, the Yinyasmara did tell you kind of like if you keep going in this direction, eventually you will kind of find a a small trail. But you have to go through like kind of the shit to to get there. Um, so we have to go through Vietnam. Yep. And so all sorts uh, of rain. You're walking down the trail, and. Uh, Yes. Uh, let's see here. As as you're, you know, kind of making your way, you feel like you're getting somewhat close, and then uh, all of a sudden you <coughs> see Namiad go flying up in the air. Uh, he's just yelling. Uh, it feels like something has curled up around your leg, and just you're just way up in the air. Uh, <laughs> Can I roll uh, you a reflex to have... save to cut the rope before it launches him? <laughs> no, I mean, ah, quit mucking he... about. We've got business to do. To Get me <laughs> down from here, you silly <laughs> fuck. Okay, I'll just cut. It's This is like a simple trap. This is like a caveman trap. So can I just cut the rope where it the pulley system is? I'm assuming it's like something fell. <laughs> Right. I mean, it's like a branch. He's like hanging up from a tree at this point, and he's oh, just like he's way up a tree, up and down. Uh, yeah, he's pretty How high about, up there. Don't cut the fucking rope. You want me to shoot the rope? No. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I. It seems like I got a shot. For the love of God, <laughs> no. What happens if you shoot the rope? Do you think well, you I can figure gravity takes over from there? Right, can and just, how high up am I? He can just cut the rope himself and just climb down. Oh, yeah. He's got a knife. Wait, what's that, son? I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are kind of like trying to figure this Wait, one out. you're a fucking uh, bird. Fly up and carry me back. For the tenth time, I can't fly. You do you're hear a flightless some... bird? Technically, yes. What I fucking guess. good is that? Roll a perception check just to... Okay, never mind. Man. Uh, you do hear some crashing coming in through the woods at this point, and um, what you do see is this very big lizard, about the size of each okay. of you guys. Uh, I'm going to show his art. And mounted on top of that lizard... Is it a lizard this? wizard? This film. Oh, he's cute. He's like adorable. Him. Wow, he's adorable. And the he lizard was just like charging favorite. towards you, and and then look at his as soon as it look gets at his really tiny close, little bow or arrows. He pulls back on the reins. Like, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, no, this one. No, no, no. Those are definitely no. dark. Blue. We don't eat those. We don't. We, we don't eat those. Uh, oh. Damn it. Well, no, much obliged on that one. Something I could eat. Uh, what are well you meant, folks uh... doing in here? Oh my god, is he Cajun? That would be the best. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Riley, we're just passing through. Uh, I figure we're heading in. I, I honestly couldn't. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, it seems like your friend kind of, your friend kind of broke. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Yeah. Yes, Hello? there's a god. There's oh, a god controlling him back. from a different dimension. Wait. Um, is he back? Hello. Can you hear us? Yes. Yeah, I back. can hear you. Okay, we, we lost you for a second there. Oh yeah. Uh, I was just gonna say like. Oh yeah, we're uh, just on our way through uh, head in that. I, I I assume that's the right direction. I've been following the bird the the whole time. I was following you. I only Don't followed the bird. Say that to me. <laughs> I only followed the bird because I thought it could fly and get a better distance. But now that I know that it can't do that, I'm not following. I'm gonna leave you up in the tree. <laughs> I mean, he I... did. He did specifically ask us to do that. I did ask mm -hmm. you to do that. Well, um, Thea, yeah, find so... your own way. Shit. 
So I, I guess I have to find a way down from this tree now. Hey, just hold on, hold on. He takes out <coughs> a, a bow and just... And it flies up and just goes right through the rope uh, with, like, expert... Uh, see, now uh, I offered to do that, see. and he was being just a real... Well, and he just come crashing down, boom, uh, right into a thorny bush. <clears throat> You, you take motherfucker. You take 18 d6 bleed damage. Hey, now we're dealing with that hey, for four hours. Quick, I? <laughs> <laughs> I specifically who why Listen, man's got a point. I you know, fucking I oh. looks like, like you can't fly either. How did I get these goddamn <laughs> thorns out of my spine? <laughs> Aren't you guys supposed to be time. able to fly too? Yeah, Where's on. your wings? Just fucking help me, please. No. What are you guys doing in the woods? Are you hunting too? Uh, in a manner of speaking, yes, that would be quite apt to say that we are. We're really? looking for some kind of cave. Oh, yeah, there's a few lots of caves around here. There's a hidden lens, you know, it's all sorts of... Uh, specific, like a, a cave that people go to hide in or something? I figure. Smuggler's cave, if you know, if you heard the term. Well, I really don't know smuggling. All I have to do is just uh, hunting. Uh, we just, uh, you know, I live all laying here with me, uh, with my lizard here, and... It... That's about all we do. We, we don't need any smuggling. We don't even go to town, you know, tell us, uh... You know, once while, I'll get him some gold pieces and, you know. Wait, so you're just you some guy? I just run out of town and get some <clears throat> snacks. No, oh, yeah, this is uh, Billy. Uh, Billy, yep, yep. Uh, most of the tall folk just call me Bill. All right. I shall do no such thing. Billy, yep, yep, it is. You're adorable. Uh, Well, tell hey. me, Billy, yep, yep. Um, Watch your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Ooh, soft spot. Uh, could you help us navigate around all of these very deadly traps that you've set uh, up in this forest? Because this is honestly going to be just a huge time sink if we have to deal with this. Uh, nope. if the, with this one getting caught in every trap you've set in this place. Well, I mean, kind of bitch to you know have to set the traps again. Yeah, Nami Ed. Mm. Causing causing trouble for the working man. Well, you know, uh, usually gold didn't you know, <laughs> do, 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 do much for me, but uh, <laughs> my cheese ball <laughs> supply is getting below, so I, I guess I could use a big cash. Yeah, I'll, you'll I'll hold the welcome to tag long I'll, if you'd like. I'll, I'll give you some patches to it. Why in the name of God would we do that? Because well, I mean, you want to be flying through the air, and shit. Uh, because he's my new favorite person, Nami Ed. Okay, but he just shot me down from a fucking tree and almost killed that me. That is part of the reason he's my favorite person. You are just You're... a right gnarly douche. You're not dead. Or are you dead? I don't really stuff. understand yeah. what you are. I've got Let me have this. Beasts and shit and all, you know, all over this place. I can make sure you avoid the... Uh, those creatures and sit too, so I, mean, I kind of know where they nest or whatnot. It's kind of what I got the traps are set up here. I know they like to go through here and go to the yeah, and, traps you know. and beasts. Yeah, how about yeah. this time? <clears throat> how about this time, but in common? <coughs> it's common. Don't you have thorns to deal with? Yeah, ow. <laughs> Listen, you are a delight, good sir, and I insist you come with us. All right, I'll give you a hate. Uh, I don't know, five gold pieces? Five gold? I sent me back for a good one. Five gold pieces, yeah. Oh, God. God damn. That is better than, better catch than I've had in like a week. So, uh, yeah. Good thing I caught your friend there. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. All right. All right. Follow me. Right. He jumps up on his lizard like, yep, yep, let's go. And then, uh, kind of. Uh, makes his way uh, through the forest, kind of takes off in a, like a completely different direction. Where you, you guys are going, I know, I know, I know, you guys are going that way, but let's go this way, and then we'll get around the west of it. Just trust me. Um, Implicitly, sir. So. Yeah. So uh, yeah, he kind of looks like quite is the... shaky at best. I hope. 
Yeah, I trust this man with my life. I I could have sworn you had better (laughs) jokes. He takes you guys on quite the roundabout way. It takes a good long while to get there, but you feel like, uh, you know, you, you didn't run into any issues. Like you didn't run any more traps. There weren't any more beasts or anything like that either. Um, that you guys came across. So, um, yeah, eventually, uh, you guys do come to like a bit of a clearing and, uh, <laughs> You can see a cave off in the distance. He's like, all right, yeah, there's the kind of direction you guys go, and I hope that's what you're looking for. And, uh, looking at your map, it's kind of probably the one you, you, you need to. Uh, you don't take my fucking gold piece, and I'll, I'll go home, all right? Uh, uh, what was that? I said, <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so, do you think you uh, understood the way to get back well enough that we could send this gentleman off, or should we have him wait here for the trip back? I don't know. Did I? <laughs> I suppose we could each make a survival check to see if we... I think that's how it's going to have to work, yeah. I mean, another five gold piece, so... It'd be fine. I'll do that. Oh, fuck Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah i remember uh, the way back <laughs> listen uh sherman just spent the entire time hanging off every fucking uh unintelligible word this man was saying the entire time <laughs> just like <laughs> yes please do tell me more <laughs> <laughs> well i mean if you guys you uh... Uh, you should see if Oku. <laughs> I'll just go back to town, and give me some whiskey and ch- cheese ball, and you know, head back to my home in the swamp. You know the fog fed is fog fed. Uh, yeah, fed? Oku seems to have, like know like the way back just by the smells that he remembers. I'm guessing. Oh yeah, he's got some <laughs> scent ability too. Yeah, yeah, you guys know the fog fed is fog fed, fog fed swamp. Uh- <laughs> No, but if you're there, I would be happy to, to yeah, join you. the lighthouse, sir. You know the big old lighthouse thing. Yeah. Oh, yes. We've spent some time in the lighthouse. Yeah. You want me to you know, send you up to the woods or anything? Uh, yeah, you just come find me there and give, give me gold and I'll you take whatever the hell you want. Uh, the fog fan, huh? Yeah, fog fan. You know... A fog fan is the swamp where the lighthouse is, so he's kind of like in that area. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah. Anytime Billy, you yep, need yep. A... Billy up, yep. Yep, Billy up, yep. It's the goal, me. I got a token for right. him, too, in fact. You are but... a delightful frog man, and I hope to see you again. If not, I shall curse. Whatever <laughs> deity it is that has done has done this great injustice to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah me do whatever you want, man. I'll, I'll just, just give me some gold, and I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, yeah, hey, bro, fuck off, bro. I'll see you guys later. Nice meeting you. Bye. He rides off in the wilderness. So, so cute. <laughs> yep. Yep, maybe a little gripply friend. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm glad I, I remember uh, my way back. Yeah. I was I was having fun. Uh I, I got this Path Builder app and I was in church and didn't really care what was going on there, so I built a ranger, a gripply ranger named Billy Up Yep. <laughs> 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 uh so yep. But all right. I love him. Uh, yeah, I figure I would never get to use him as a PC. Like, oh, I'll throw him in here. It's a pretty good spot for him. So um, <clears throat> he helped us. That... Yep. <coughs> yep. 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 He, he helped you avoid those <laughs> random encounters. Um. So yeah, uh, whoever wants to deduct encounters. five five gold from your um. Oh, I already paid him five gold. 
Okay, cool. All right. Like I said, happily. <laughs> I'm glad you like I it. Say, I, I think Sherman would have paid 100,000 gold if he could. Whatever your price, name it. Uh, so you guys get closer to the, the cave and you do see a campfire outside. <gasps> mm. Oh, no. Why don't we just scroll on in? We are the mob. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's true. <clears throat> um... <clears throat> I mean, Soul's not exactly the stealthy type, anyways. I will announce myself to my enemies. Ah, okay. Oh, you're going to cast light? Uh, yes. That is usually one of my go tos. All right. Yeah, uh, you do see kind of some reins of uh, like a rabbit or something. Probably like a rabbit pelt that was kind of just cast off to the side. Um, Does it look fresh? Was... Yeah, definitely fresh. Yes. Uh, so he caught a rabbit, killed it, and mm. had some lunch. So somebody is here. We used to say hi, right? <clears throat> Uh, yeah. Let's go Might say hi. As well. Hello? Uh, I think further in, you can see it was just the dimmest of light uh, clink, 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 from within clink. the cave. <clears throat> well, I have something for you, Justin. Greater dark vision. Yeah. Uh, all right then. Well, let me see here. Here it is. Is that our boy? I was looking for our my journal here. So, in this cave, um, you see some rotted crates, forgotten clothes, other debris that suggest this cave is occasionally used but rarely cleaned. And a cold campfire surrounded by logs sits at the cave's center, and there's some faint smells of mildew and smoke that hang in the still air. And sitting down on the and the well, I guess it would be sitting down since you announced yourself. He's up on his feet and he's got his uh, hand on a sword. Uh, as you approach from what you can see, um, let's see. I'll put him down on screen too. There you go. <clears throat> Who is it? What the fuck do you want? Uh, oh, hey. No need it, to be I was going to say, so... I feel like Sherman just walk up from behind me and be like, hey, buddy. <laughs> no need to be so contentious, sir. We, uh, we were told about this place by a mutual friend. Uh, got a drink earlier today. <clears throat> God damn it, was it smoky? Eh, son of a bitch. Oh, listen. Who, who did what is not important? I'll take that back. Who did what is actually of utmost important? What are you doing out here, if, you, if I may ask? It's none of your business. Oh, come well, I'd rather now. be left alone, so... Yes, Get and moving. if wishes were pigs, bacon would always be on sale. Listen. I ain't afraid to crack some skulls. So, I mean, it's up to you guys whether your skulls be getting cracked or not. <clears throat> well, my good sir. As formidable as I'm sure as I am quite sure you are I do believe that you've got plenty of room around the campfire uh, I'm sure you can and en entertain us for a short while 
I ain't got no interest in sharing my time with any folk like you now. <laughs> well, Get the you hell seem to have plenty of, my of cave. You seem to have plenty of it on your hands. You don't exactly seem like the busy type at the moment. You have a lot of prior, uh, prior commitments that you've got to get to. Is that the problem? What the fuck do you want? Why are you here? <laughs> uh, how long have you been out here, if you don't mind me asking? It's none of your business. Oh, I do believe it is very much my business. <clears throat> Were you in town yesterday? <clears throat> What the hell do you want? I don't suppose you saw that fire happen at the church. Dreadful business it was. Hey, Justin. Whole town I is mean, talking you know something about, about it. it. <clears throat> oh, you you know what something you about saying, it? Well, I... To activate <clears throat> my bracelets of dashing, does that make noise or anything? Do I have to like be loud about it? Uh, How does that work? No, I have to look at it. Uh, let me take a look. Bracelets of dashing. Okay, that's going to be here. I don't even know you had those. Yeah, I picked them up somewhere. I don't remember where. Okay. Activate command. I imagine it'd be a command word, and yes, you'd have to just yell a command. Okay. Yes. And I won't do that. <laughs> okay. Go, go, gadget, kill that guy. <laughs> I should just activate it at the beginning of the day because it's just an all day thing, I think. But uh, it's one minute. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Just one it's minute. once per day. So I'm just like, oh, yeah. So you, you, know something about it. Care to enlighten me? You know what? I do. Well, should I make myself more comfortable? I mean, uh, I imagine you have plenty to elucidate us on. Fuck, I mean, if you're already here, then you already know what did it. Oh. No other reason why you'd be here. I mean... No one's going to find out, though. Tell you that right now. Listen. We can all make it back to Otari in one piece. I personally would prefer it that way. I'm sure he, you would if you gave it a little, a little bit of thought. I can't say the same for you. He draws the sword. It's a very, very nice-looking sword. Um... And let's just roll for initiative. All right. I have readied an action to activate those when he drew his sword. Because <laughs> I knew it was coming. Um, oh, I think I hit the wrong button. All right, I just need one from Sherman. I don't know if you hit the right button. Shit. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So he got a 30. I have. Uh, I do just have fucking Knox syndrome <laughs> when it comes to this game. Yeah, it's a thieves thing, you know? Just rogue things. All right. Um, <laughs> Not even a rogue, do, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's gonna be here with us. You get the fuck out of my cave! And he chucks, he in, in very, very swift action, grabs a hammer from his belt and chucks it right at Sherman's head. Um, what is he chucking my head? A, a hammer. hammer. A hammer. He's got like Who a whole bunch of hammers. Who throws a hammer? Honestly. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, here we go. Oh my god, is it exactly a 30 it? foot range? Oh, it hit you too. Ooh, just missed a critical hit. 
Um, God. Oh, but max damage. Yeah, you take 16 points of Jesus. damage. Um, Almost a critical. All the damage. Uh, yeah. Just fucking wanks me in the head. Only... I'm like, oh, mother, mother fucker. That really fucking hurts. God and damn it. And that's his turn. Fuck. <clears throat> That's You're always the first one hit, dude. Oh. Who throws a hammer? Seriously. Jesus. That Shit. is... Fuck I me. You just found out. <laughs> that is not your typical accent. Oh. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, All right, Nami, what are you going to do? Shit, man. I don't know. Uh... You could just spend this... Like, we are only fighting the one guy. You could spend this one turn... Just like preparing your discombobulate. Yeah, that's not the worst idea. Deception roll for that, eh? Nope. Uh, it's a three round action to uh, mark for death. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Yep. Let's do that then. <sighs> mark for death. He just and I know I'm stands not there. Wait, and they should have. You mark me for just, death or uh, him? No, the, eating, I was just eating la rabbit leftovers. <laughs> sending it to the chat there. Yeah, but what's something is like? What's what? What's affecting me right now? Nothing. Um, why do I have a blue aura around me? That means it's your, it's your turn. turn. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, mark it. And there we All go. All right. Cool. That's your turn then. All right. Souls up next. So Sorry. would he have been able to use his reaction to activate the? Oh, as a reaction? No, but. Well, because he said that it's he fine. wanted to prepare it. Okay, I. Just, yeah. Oh, did he before? It's fine. It's whatever. Yeah, I wanted to, but people were talking, and I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't okay. matter. All right. It won't change anything. I'm going to go here. Okay. And I'm going to lunge twice. So. Ooh. Wait, before I do this, target. Strike. Critical Ooh, miss. I'm going to use my hero point a... on that. I, I'm right. using my hero point. I'm using my hero point. I was reaching for my cards. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hit. That's, That's the, the hit with a want. 31. Yep. All right. Go ahead and roll damage. 15 points of damage. That's pretty good. All right. And another one. Another one. And miss. that one's going to be a miss. So how does this happen like and mechanically as far as like your, your bonuses and whatnot if you're doing a lunch. Uh, I just kind of forget. This need to be reminded. For my bonuses? Yeah. Lunch doesn't... Lunch just changes the range I can strike at. Okay. The, down, the downfall of lunch is that I can't use certain attacks with it. Yeah. Certain attacks gotcha. are like also actions. So that's the economy. But uh -huh. I don't take any negatives or anything for the extra distance. Mm-hmm. All right. Good. Cool. So that's your whole turn then. All right, there's lunch. All right, yep. so it's an action. Yep. So you moved. Use lunge as an action. Oh, so, so lunge is your part of your attack. Make a yep. strike. Okay, so you don't have to use an action to activate lunge and then attack. Okay, that's what I was right. kind of wondering though. Just making but sure I wouldn't be able to use, right. like, double strike with lunge. So that's, like, the trade-off. It's like, I have to decide what I'm going to be using. So Okay, okay, sure. So it'd be bad for two-weapon fighting, but it'd be, it's good for one-weapon fighting. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Sherman, you're up. 
All right. So I'm going to. He hit you with a hammer and then I sprung up from behind you. This is true. That is what happened. Um, you know, I think I'm going to do something a little, uh, a little different than what I usually do. Um, I'm going to cast Quantum Shot. Okay. Um, so as part of that, I get to make a strike, and then I basically keep ammunition in my um, uh, gun afterwards. Okay, so, so you I'm going basically shoot twice. <laughs> Yes. Cool. Oh, uh, that should have been reloaded. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, there we go. Uh, so. A 22 is going to be a miss. Fuck. He's going to have I IAC. Well, then for my He's second armored. one, what I'm going to do is uh wait, was he just chilling in armor? Uh yeah. I don't know why it's not here, but he appears to have studded leather armor. Oh, okay. I guess that's something you could just be wearing and chilling with. It's not like half plate. Um, I'm going to use my accidental shot to roll my second attack, basically with advantage. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, I should still be at 23 by the time I'm done with this. Jesus this. shit. I'm going to have to... Um, redo my ammo. Yeah. Another Are miss. you fucking kidding me? Jesus. All right. Wow. Can I use my hero point on the first <laughs> attack? No, that's fine. Uh, I would have had to use yeah. your hero point on one of them. No, I I would have had to say it after I made that first attack. But yeah, I managed yeah. to fuck it up like from top to bottom. All right. Uh, and that's my turn. You, you did just get a hammer shoved in your yeah. face. <laughs> um, I don't know if shoved is the right word. Maybe like imprinted on. <laughs> in rather. Oh, You're a little dizzy. I can't blind. believe I rolled that bad three times. Actually, the first one wasn't even bad. Okay, you know what? Well, Are no, it was really a seven. Yeah, it was still pretty bad. Survive. You roll bad every time. It's it's in our name. Yeah, they were all single digits. A two, a four, and a seven. Uh, he's going to five foot step. And then he's going to roll a check against you. All right, let me check your reflex DC oh. here. He is trying. So he runs forward with his sword, and he's striking, like, purposefully at your sword. Um, so look at the rules here. I think my reflex DC is a 21. Mm-hmm. All right, so suddenly your grip is... Uh, uh, loosened quite a bit on your your sword um and then he's gonna attack you with a sword def far, uh, far differently as he's trying to hit you with his sword to hurt you now um, that belongs to does that whatever he did to me trigger an AOP? disarm no. no doesn't uh his next hit was quite poor and was a miss uh, but yeah, that's not a manipulate action. You. No, but you're no disarm is a combat option. We are. Yeah. Are we on uh, ad break at the moment? Ad break. So we're going to take a very quick ad break right now. 
Uh, we'll see you in a couple minutes, and then we'll head start with Namiya's turn. All right, Namiya is up next. What are you going to do? So we're gonna do that old deception roll to faint. Actually, sorry, we're gonna move first. Okay. And then faint him. Actually, you can get around to the other side of him, so that you're flanking. Like comes off. Oh no, not quite. Plus, I think if he's moving through his threatened squares, he gets an A up. Yeah. And he's a, probably a fighter. Fair. Yeah. Oh, this seems risky. Okay, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna we're gonna do the old deception roll. Uh. Um. So there's a plus two on this. For what, the deception? Yeah. From the... Uh, oh, from the follow uh, follow a lead or whatever thing, right? No, from uh, Mark for Death. Mark for Death. Yes! Uh, Mark for, for Death gives you a plus two to your... Holy shit. Fuck okay. yeah! So faint. Uh, let me look at that action really quick. Oops. So... Oh shit, that's the Kingmaker, it's different. Uh, all right. The target is off guard against melee attacks that you attempt until uh, against it until the end of against your next turn. Deception, perception DC. And perception DC. Okay, so that is a regular success with a 30. Uh, 32. So he's off guard. 32? Oh. That is a critical success. Uh, hey. <laughs> he's off guard. Against melee attacks, you attempt against it until the end of your next turn. So you get it for this turn and your next turn. Nice. So I can make so an I'll put off guard on him just for you. Yeah, you can. So if you want to, you can also roll a uh, what your a discombobulate check. The uh, isn't that what I just did? So yeah, just roll a regular strike and then add a plus two to it, I believe. For what? For the for it uh, using your intelligence instead of dex. Oh right. Isn't that don't you have to do just as a strategy for that, or is it only like if they're off guard you get that bonus too? No, I was saying you can. Yeah, if you wanted to devise a stratagem, you can. Yeah. Like you can still use this well, with you devise moved, a stratagem. Moved. Fainted. Oh, yeah, because so you would have to just make a regular attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, never mind. Oh, Damn. man, 21. And you still whiffed. No! Hey, you get next round attack as well. Yeah, I know. That's still freaking insane. His DC is insane. Or AC, sorry. Probably like 25, 26. Yeah, I mean, you did roll a six. Yeah. True. All right, Soul's up next. <laughs> okay, this might be dumb. But we'll see what happens, then we'll know. I draw my other sword. Does he get an AI? All right. You draw your sword. That's an interact action. Yeah. Um, let me take a look here. Manipulate is the specific. Or manipulate, word. yeah. Yep, says right there. Yeah, it has a manipulate trait. Okay. You just read through all this stuff real quick. Does he have attack yes. of opportunity? So, yeah, he is going to make a strike against you with a long sword. There's a 27 hit your AC. I forgot to target you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he slashes at you and you take ooh, 20 points of damage. That Lord oh, yeah. Sword really, <laughs> really hits you hard. 
That's a pretty good damage roll, though. Always is. <laughs> okay. All right. So I've done one action. Yes. So then I will now double slice. Okay. Oh, because he's got high AC. Mm hmm. Clever. My God. Oh, that one is going to be bad. Ugh. All right, let's grab that fumble. Uh, let's see here. Slashing weapon. Oh, just melee. Oh, Butterfingers, you dropped the weapon you made the attack with. I didn't need to try a disarm. <laughs> so your katana is now on the ground. Right in front of a guy right. who has attack of opportunity. <clears throat> That's fine. Um, let's wait. And then... I still got the second attack, so... You do. That one is going to land a hit. Five points okay. of damage. Aww. All right. That brings us up to Sherman's turn. Justin's doing max damage every time. I'm doing minimum damage yeah, every no time. shit. Um... Sherman's going to reload. Um... And he's going to use one that he hasn't used before. Made Chan to put my sword in my hand. Shit, that's actually a really good idea. So I don't have to take the A up. That is huge, dude. <laughs> um, I actually have it. <laughs> Yeah, that I do have it prepared. I'm gonna do that massive. instead. Uh, yes, I'm gonna cast Mage what, Hand and what is hand the weight sword. of your sword? Mm. It's a bulk of one or less. Um, well, I dropped it, so I sword don't... should have one bulk. I imagine so. I just want to make sure. It is one bulk. All right, it's just enough. So, yeah, that reload and mage hand is my turn. All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hit the next button. All right. And with that, it's getting late. So we'll see you next week. Fuck, that was super clever. I feel like a yeah. Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That's smart as hell. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like the sword is like about to strike the ground and then. Uh, it just like stops and hovers just before it hits the ground and flies right back to your hand. Uh, yeah. So yeah, see you next time, everyone. Have a good Damn. Day. All right. That's really.